straight out of Hot Wheel Heaven. Wow. They say money can't buy happiness? This room's full of serotonin. Okay, I definitely recognize this now. <laughs> What is going on my modest and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time on the channel, you don't know what modism is. Modism is a religion of modding vehicles. Not only that, but we heavily advocate for safety, open-mindedness, and respect. Anyways, folks, in case you guys have missed the last couple of vlogs, I recently revealed my wrap color. Now that I've had some time to get used to it, I'm still not used to it. But I really love the color, and I think it makes the modism SI that much more unique. Today, we're actually going to be fixing a little thing on the SI. I haven't been able to use the keyless entry ever since I got the car back. And whenever I'm at the post office with a bunch of orders, I can't unlock and lock the door without taking my keys out of my pocket. So for convenience sake, we'll fix that today. There she is y'all in that beautiful light khaki green. Just to show you guys, it does not unlock. We gotta do this. Hey, shout out Madison though. There we go. Keyless access system problem. And they're so persistent on it that when you shut off the car, let you know again. Now unfortunately it doesn't tell you which door is malfunctioning but Joe said it might be the passenger side so I'm gonna start off with the passenger side but apparently all you need is a squeegee and a screwdriver. Okay y'all I might have to do this with one hand because I have nowhere to set up the camera so we got it popped a little bit as you can see. We're gonna take this and remove it. Come on man. Oh fancy. And that is the one screw we got to remove and the whole thing comes off. But before we do that, I'm gonna disconnect this just so we don't yank it out when the whole door panel comes off. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh my god, it's so windy. We got that taken off. I'm gonna stick my foot underneath the door so it don't fly open like that again. So we have the door card off. And once you pull this back, we have found the culprit. If it'll focus. In there, it's disconnected and we just gotta connect it to the other side which is about like an inch away. There we go. And now we just seal everything back up. Last piece. Just slide this back in. All right, and I think we just bang it down. Ooh, ooh, that was a nice click. Hey, there we go. All right, time to test it out. So let's say I got a lot of packages in my hand. Pause. And I don't want to reach for my keys in my pocket, so I just click that. <gasps> and there we go, folks. We're back online magic. Now that we got that taken care of, I actually have a surprise for you guys today. My homie Chris works at Canepa and today we are invited out to take a little tour of the office. I've never been there before but apparently I used a picture of their workplace as a background for one of my videos. But all I know about it is they got a lot of rare cars there. And not only do they have a museum but they also sell a lot of the cars too. I hope you're as excited as I am because I've never been around this many nice cars before. Should be interesting. I got bird shit on my window. As you can see folks, we got a nice day today. I hope today we get to see a lot of cool cars, which I'm pretty sure we will. But I've never seen a Ferrari F4 in person. I could be mistaken, but I believe they actually had a couple Le Mans cars. Definitely gonna see some 911s up in there. Hopefully we get inspired today, because I know a lot of those cars got a hefty price tag. And if we want to live that life in the future, we gotta make a lot more. So y'all, we just pulled up and I was pulling up. I saw these cars, oh my god, looks like we're in for a treat. Bye bye SI, I'll see you later. Yo, we're inside right now. Yo. Wow. Dude. Every car guy's heaven. Holy cow. Carrera GT? Dude, these are so sick. I'm gonna be taking photos of some of these. Oh my god. Dude, that's such a nice spoiler with a GT2. Oh my lordy. Yo, their clientele got money, money. Is that, he's got a six speed too. That's what's up, that's what's up. 944. <laughs> I thought that was a DeLorean for a second. That's sick. <laughs> oh, my, oh my god, what the? Y'all, these are some beautiful cars. Wow. McLaren. Oh man, man, the man himself. Dude, this place is sick, man. How are you, brother? Good, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. It was no I don't even know what I'm looking at, man. I'm the wrong clientele. <laughs> it's all good, man. Dude, this is sick. This is, our, uh, this is our showroom. Um, are you recording? Okay, you're recording. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, I got you, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> we gotta run it back, we gotta... <laughs> Real quick, because I gotta go back to the office for a little bit, but uh, okay. basically, welcome to Canada, brother. Thank you very it's much, a, thank you very much. It's been a seeing you. I know, bro. Uh, so this is basically our showroom. Um, it looks, I know it looks like a museum, but this is actually like 
I thought this was the museum, bro. There's more? Um, there are the museums upstairs. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So this is all just uh, cars for sale. All for This is a showroom for cars for sale. What's the sticker on these, man? Uh, by request. That's what's up. So you guys specialize in luxury vehicles? Uh, vintage racing. Um, exotics. So. I feel you, I feel you. How much does that one sell for? The R32? Yeah, well, it, was a, it was a while back for me. So, yeah. Solid, huh? Yeah. What's your favorite car here? I'll show you. Ah, there's more later. Hey, check out that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, for real? I'm about to be reading every single one of them. Shout out to Chris, y'all. This is so sick. Oh my god. Dude. I'm over here struggling to buy some car parts. How are we gonna afford one of these? <laughs> this is crazy. Yo, straight up race car. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. Man, what color is this? This a vet? Damn, I can't even recognize it. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay, I see it now. <laughs> no way, they got the jack system? That's sick. Y'all haven't seen these before? Just props the car up in here. Dude, this is cleaner than my car. What year is this? 77. That's so sick. So Chris went through and wrote all of these stories for every single car you see in here. And guess what? We're gonna read all of them. 911 Turbo is freaking beast. Check out the interior. Yo, they got so many manuals here. That's so amazing to see. Don't worry, after I'm done recording everything here, I'll go through and take photos just so y'all can see it on the Instagram. And if you guys are curious about them, be sure to go follow my Instagram. Link in the description below. Oh, damn. I love this one. Driver's car. That's what I like to see. Big Lang. Yeah, this is beautiful, y'all. Wow. Whoa, check out these wheels. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Holy downforce, am I right, y'all? Dude. That's what's up, they actually drove this car. And he gets to move them around sometimes? That's so sick. I wish I could hear them fire it up. So many Porsches. I think that's a Ford GT. I'm pretty sure, like the new one. Damn, look at that. Carbon fiber, engine back there. That ball. I apologize in advance. You guys are just gonna see me geeking out this whole video. Ooh, nice, look at these headlights. Damn. This shit looks like it's at a 2045, man. It's a 2019. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get our hands on one of these. That's how you know you made it. P1 GTR. You already know that's bad. Porsches are so nice. It's a GT2 RS. I believe when I look at how much a GT2 RS costs, it's like half a million. But hey, I think it's worth every penny. I've never even been inside of one. Got stitching on the chair. Wow, this is beautiful, y'all. Carbon fiber back here. Man, dude, this color is hella nice too. This color is hella nice. Yo, look at that fitment. Yeah, damn. Wow, I think this one is a, I think P1s are hybrids, I'm not too sure. Damn, that's such an aggressive front splitter. And that's part of the car too. Over here, <laughs> straight out of Hot Wheel Heaven. Wow, 2005 Porsche Carrera GT. And the fact that they made this a Hot Wheel car, that is sick. Mad respect. Yo, are those the coils back there? What the? So intricate. Here's the interior of the Carrera GT. Damn, son. It's a high mount shifter. I haven't even gone through all the cars yet. I think I'm standing next to the speed tail right now. I'm only guessing that because of the tail shape. They say money can't buy happiness? Bro, that's so cap. This room's full of serotonin. Oh yeah, I was right, it's a speed tail. 2020. 
Look at that interior, man. Wait, what? Yo, the seat's in the middle? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, I'm tripping out right now. So this is a three-seater, and the steering wheel's in the middle? Dude, that's insane. It's very crazy to think I'm in the presence of multi-millions of dollars. The insurance on this place must go crazy. Check out this one too, man. Woo! This is the prototype too? Oh man. That's insane. I really can't believe I'm here right now. Dude, the build quality on all these cars, insane. I'm over here looking at Japanese tuners. You can pick up for like 10, 15 grand. This is what's up, man. Look at these, oh my god. Look like it'll smoke the shit out of Lightning McQueen. I know there's a lot of motorcyclists and modders and gotta show love. A Protofab Mustang Trans Am from 1984. This is crazy. Oh wow, it's so flat. Damn. Yeah, on a whole other level here. Right, check it out, y'all. Carbon fiber wheels. These Jaguars are so sick. So this is a BMW M1. I have never seen this before. It looks so sick. I have no doubt this is expensive. <laughs> the artwork all around the building is super sick. Look at all that. Bang! But right now, we're gonna be going upstairs to the museum. Make sure I don't fall. Oh, look at that. They got one for me. Before I look at that, welcome to the Kanepa Motorsport Museum. All right, y'all, let's get it. Whoa. Chris was also telling me that they actually race some of these cars on vintage racing days. That's insane. Who's the lucky one that gets to drive these? Like what? 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 Yo, bobsledding is crazy. <laughs> Gravity racer. This is 350 pounds with the driver. That's crazy. And all you got to stop here is a little bicycle brake. This is freaking insane. Wow. Such a blessing to be in the presence of these cars. I like how they sealed everything up with the metal. Makes it look so clean. What is it? Gas, oil, water, tire, door in, top out. I guess it's a it's a list for remembering. I just noticed <laughs> this one don't got no side mirrors on it. This one looks really cool. I don't even know what it is. Super decked out. And we move over here. Look, they got little balls to keep the dust out. It's the babe stop, Chevy. Where do you even find these? <laughs> Crazy. Yo, what the? This is a V8 40. That's crazy, y'all. I'm witness. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm witnessing history right now. This is freaking insane. I bet that sounds crazy too. Hey, what does the inside look like? What? Is that the shifter right there? You learn something new every day. This is freaking crazy, man. Shoot, I want to drive one of these. <laughs> I know this shit's fast. <laughs> what the hell? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Aren't these called like funny cars or something? I don't remember. I could be wrong. But they had an episode of cars. That's what I said. Watch out for the speed demon. <sighs> man. I'm a sucker for Porsches. This one got a little wine body on it. A big wide body on it. Yeah. Whoever took the time to build this, thank you. Now I can see it. Shoot, that's what I'm trying to have on my car. All these sponsors. Oh. And he's sponsored by Shell. He get free gas. This is insane. Still got the new car smell. Oh my god, they got a little one. No way. We gotta check this out for sure. No way. Is that actual shit, Jerry? Why do I feel like this one actually works? Little BBS covers they got on the wheels. It looks like a ceramic plate. I'm seeing so much about racing history. I don't even know much. I feel like I'm in the presence of greatness and I don't even realize it. All I know is these cars look good to me. I recognize some of them, but I couldn't give you a history lesson on it, that's for sure. Look at that, look at that, y'all. This is crazy, y'all. Literally real life of Hot Wheels, man. Insane. Wow. Oh, that looks classy. Yeah, what? What? 
Got some T37s. It smells good in here. I think they just freshly detailed the cars. I swear, I've seen videos of some people driving these types of cars on the street. <laughs> Looks scary, y'all. Oh, this, this is more my speed. That's the suck. Yo, what? 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 Dude, this go-kart's nicer than my car. Holy crap. Look at that intake. Wow, that's so cute. Little calipers and rotors. These cars are in pristine condition too. Sunoco? Dynaco? Come on, y'all. Come on. Fiat Abarth. That's crazy. They've been making these ones loud from the factory too. Not this specific one, but the new modern Fiat. It's crazy. Obviously, this one got like a Dynaco paint job. <laughs> That's what's up. East 10 Torino Cobra. Wow, it's so cool seeing the inside of a car all painted and done. Damn, look at that chrome. This boy definitely uses Rusty's. Oh man, I think that's the, the owner of this place. Bruce Canepa. Is this his personal vehicle? These fat tires. Damn, look at the shocks. Dude. I'll be driving one of these. That's just really sick though. Like that's a beautiful car. Oh, I seen one of these in GTA. Once they had the Valentine's Day uh, update. Oh, what the? Yo, how do you even make those, man? That's so crazy. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh, Team Gunston. It's like Hans RX-7, but an actual race car. Dang, what the what? I want to drive one of these. That's some real speed. <sighs> Absolutely amazing. We gotta watch an F1 race one of these days. But like I said, they actually do take these cars out and race them. So, I'm pretty sure there's some footage out there. But man, these are some beautiful cars. Look at all that. Crazy. I don't even wanna guess how much this whole collection costs. We got a Chevy NASCAR motor right here. What? All polished and clean. What a fat ass turbo. But it sounds mean. Honestly, my favorite cars in the museum, this white one, I like it a lot. This one, this one's really cool. I like this one a lot too. I fuck with that one so much. I don't even know what it is, but it looks really nice. This one over here has got to be the most aggressive looking one out of all of these. Even those wheels are super nice. There's no way this shit isn't fast, bruh. It's like a jet. Jello racing team? Ain't no way. Shout out Jello. I'm not even gonna lie y'all, I'm having so much fun in here. But I do apologize for not knowing much about these cars. I'm usually into Japanese tuner cars. So, if we have a more educated viewer, please comment down below anything in the comments that I missed. Pretty sure I missed a lot. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures of every car in here. I'm so dumb y'all, they literally had signs for what every single car is sitting right above it. Now I'm gonna go through and read everything. Yeah, damn, so this one right here is an R15. No wonder it's so menacing. So right now, we're inside the shop. Look at all these cars. I think this is where I use the background. <laughs> the green screen is in there. Oh, push up. This ain't even it, y'all. Look at all that. Wow. To be working on cars like this, I'd be scared. Love seeing all the Porsches in here. Look at that green one. Y'all, this is crazy. Look at all these cars out here. I think they're taking them. Where are they taking all those cars? Um, so right now, the WeatherTech racing team is here. The reason the cars are getting ready to go for race in a second. Oh damn, I did not know that. Um, right now the guys are in, uh, I think, Britain right now. Oh shit. This is the family, so they're going to back next week. Nice. So finish up the car. So a lot of race teams stop by here. Dude, that's badass. I'm on the car and everything. Oh, for sure.
recognize this now. <laughs> Damn, bro, this is good. No way, it's an F40. Oh my god. Are we allowed to walk in between the cars? I have this. Look at this, yo. Oh my god. Is it, oh, that's Paul Walker's. That's Paul Walker's. Oh man. Damn. How much was this one? I'm not sure. It was all at auction right now. We're doing the same character. Oh, nice. This is. Oh, yeah, you asked me what my favorite car was, right? Yeah, what's your favorite car? It's a monkey car. It's a race car that looks back It's owned by our owner right now. Wow. And it's basically a race car that we can do a street car. Damn. So is it street legal? Sure. We don't have money, everything's street legal. Doc Hudson? Yeah. Doc Hudson. What the hell? This is a car green. So these are called 959s. Uh huh. They're basically Porsche's first supercar and one of the only supercars they made back then in like the 80s. The 80s. Nice. They went back to the end we have about 15 right now. 15 out of 300? Yo. Yeah, we have like 5%. Um, <laughs> Damn, bro, y'all some PS4 resellers, man. <laughs> so I think is we're known for that, because the guy, um, uh -huh. RCA, he was like one of the biggest guys to get the show and display law. Oh. Um, you, I think you know that law, yeah. right? So any of the car that was um, let into the US mm -hmm. because of that law was because of him. <laughs> Swear to God. Damn. Talking points of this place, like, dude, and we've also touched about 100 150 of these cars already, so that's 50 percent, bro. Yeah, um, we teamed up with Porsche, so we have a project that makes these go from 450 horsepower to 800 horsepower, completely California street legal. Um, each customer gets to customize the paint, customize all the leather. Um, we just dynoed one, I think, for the wheel, I made like 7 16. Oh, cool. Seven, 16. Is so, it no, 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 these are twin turbo. Holy crap, um, but it's it was a hot day and it was all wheel drive on a dyno, so wow, on the street, you should be making almost 800. Or not more. That's some serious money right there. I can't believe this is Paul Walker's. You want to see another cool E30? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I didn't even look at these ones. It's not a replica. We don't deal with replicas. So everything there was good for the original car. Jesus Christ. So once these get decommissioned, it's just uh, put up in the auction. So something put in the auction. This one's owned by one of our customers, and we're getting it ready for some hogs. Wow. So the customers just drop off cars to drive to yeah, the track every now and then? We get cars from all around the world, so anywhere from like, literally anywhere around the world to be honest. That's badass, dude. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, a lot come in, a lot come out. You can see the place pretty crowded now, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, young. Who would have thought, man? Oh. I think the only thing we're missing right now is a carbon fiber guy. Really? So one of y'all know how to do carbon fiber? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Top tier work. <laughs> yeah, we can't, can't have no slackers working here. This is crazy. Damn. cars for for and for the Wow. Damn. He also has like a lot of You look at that. So so we in the top secret shop, huh? Most of them go back. We only like people who pay for a tour or whatever. It's a cool one too. Wow, we're so high. <laughs> These are crazy. Yeah, that color is insane. This is freaking sick, y'all. God. For me? In a way? Guys, we're gonna walk out with the car, y'all. <laughs> we're gonna walk out with the car. <laughs> Shit, dude. Some Vespas. It's a vintage. Dude, for vintage real? Camp. So we actually have a trucking company too, so this is <laughs> concept transporters. Um, Damn. But yeah, bro. Dude, thank you so much. I'll walk it out for you real quick. Oh, I'm gonna walk sure. through the front But yeah, um, we only had XL, so it's. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. Oversized fit. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh my god! Yo, this is crazy. Is that a Ford Focus right there? No, it's actually a Fiesta RS. Really? Uh, That's a Fiesta? Factory rally car Fiesta RS. Wow. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. It's an actual race deck one right there. Wow. Dude, they got so many crazy things going on here. So we just finished up the tour. We are now back at the car. A huge shout out to Chris for fitting me in the shop today and for giving me this sick t-shirt. Look at that. Oh my god, the print quality is amazing. I've never seen that many nice cars all in one room. I think that officially beats any cars and coffee I've been to. Mark my words, y'all. We will upgrade. One day we'll go from Civics to supercars. Oh my bejeebies, look at all those dead bugs I hit on the way here. Gee, he fired it up, man. Sounds good. This is insane, y'all. It's about to be my first time driving in this. Not driving in, but riding in the passenger seat. Zing! My bad, it's a mess. It's all good, dude. Clean it the mic. Are those spacers? Oh, fucking check engine. What the fuck? Well, ain't no way living the Beamer life, bro. <laughs> He's brought the back to Thunder Hill and back. It's crazy. Oh, no. Crazy. Yeah, so I just changed out wheels, so I had to take off the spacers. Are you still uh, working on that white Beamer? No, I sold it to my little brother. Oh, for real? I picked up a. Uh, um, uh, 07 E90. Nice. E35i. So I have literally another one of this car. Yeah, hey, you really love this car, huh? <laughs> yeah, I love all the headaches they gave me. <laughs> but, um, but, uh, what is that called? That one's basically stock. It's just oh, kind nice. of nice. It's like fun. Are you gonna build it like this one or not? No, no, no. That's gonna be more. So this, I call this like the project car. Uh -huh. The one's like a project daily. Oh. And I have a Hyundai Tucson, it's just the daily. <laughs> so I'll pay you, I'll pay you. Dude, this sounds nice. So, I kept this one quiet just because I didn't really want to like do all the pops and bangs like everybody else. I feel you. It got kind of tiring for a while. Was it louder the first time when we had the photo shoot at the garage? No, it's been like this for a while. Oh, damn. Um, like, it's been like this ever since September of 2021. Dude. Yeah, dude. Classy. I barely drove this thing for the past few months until I recently fixed it up. And it's so. gonna have it back on the road, huh? <laughs> We'll see what that code is later. <laughs> Dude, I have no idea what it is. Do things always go wrong in this car? Like, is something to fix? Not always. Um, for like a cool year and a half, everything was uh -huh. fine. And then I was like, something's bound to happen. And then one thing happened and it like skewed everything else. <laughs> but yeah, it's not too bad. All right, this car is over 10 years old now? It's an 08, so oh, 15 damn. years. Yeah, it still runs hella good. Woo! Damn, that sounds good. I need to get a Japanese car. <laughs> what would you get? Um, a 3000 GT VR4 for sure. Oh, fuck yeah. You used to have one, didn't you? I used to have an SL model. Ah. So now I'm trying to get a VR4. One of the guys in the shop uh, just came back from Japan. It's importing uh, cars? Hmm? Is he uh, importing cars? He can. So that's why no I just way. like, he was showing me a few. They're like only like 15K. <laughs> 15k? The only difference is that you gotta pay for this, you know, the shipping and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, after it's like shipped over here and registered, how much would it come out to? 25? That's still really good. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. Are you stock turbo? No, these are upgraded um, 15 T's from RV Turbo. Damn. I think we've had them for like 40,000 miles now. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, they're not too bad. They're not as big as like. The, like the pure stage shoes that everybody runs, stuff like that. Uh -huh. but they're definitely bigger than stock and they run pretty quickly. So it's not too nice. Yeah, I need coffee, dude. I'm so sorry. So we're gonna stop by these real quick. For sure. Oh, what a nice car, man. Dude, the ride quality is amazing. So we're chilling in the car right now. Chris is back at work. But it turns out I'm gonna have to drop the car off again on Sunday because a decent amount of the wrap is already peeling off and that's a big no-no. Luckily, I hit up Joe and I let him know about everything that's going on and he said he's gonna replace it for free. But since we have an upcoming meet this Saturday, I can't drop it off earlier than that. So I'm just gonna have to thug it through the meet. But regardless, should be a fun time. For now, I think I'm gonna go pick up some boba since I'm down south and I'll probably get some bleed sandwiches or something. We'll see. We just got back home. It's a hot ass day today. This is the view today. I ended up not picking up any food and I just went straight home. Once again, huge shout out to the homie Chris for inviting me all the way out to Canepa. I had an absolute blast and I didn't even know 
80% of the cars there. But I was able to experience what millions of dollars could buy. Safe to say one day I really want to indulge in that lifestyle. But in order to get to where we want to be, we got to take care of business first. So I'll do that right now. I got to catch up on some edits and some orders. Well, my modest, that's going to bring us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for everyone who made it all the way to the end. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all those nice cars because it really was inspirational for me. Once again, shout out to the homie Chris and also to Kanepa Auto for inviting us out. But of course, it wouldn't be a modism video without a shout out to the modism community. You guys are amazing. Seriously, keep on killing it. If anyone wants to learn more about modism or represent modism to the world, be sure to go to modism.com, link in the description below. As for all of our information and merchandise are located, just take a little stroll to the shop because I guarantee you you'll find at least one or two items that you'll fall in love with. Anyways, folks, let me just say, I love y'all so much. Truly the best community, no cap. I will be taking a trip off to Japan soon, so uploads might be a little slow. But trust me when I say this, I promise I will do my best. Anyways, my modest, thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Keep on spreading the word of modism for me. Could you do that? But as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy, and I'll catch you guys soon.